welcome back to my channel for today's video i thought we would do like a valentine's day inspired makeup look i know we can't really go anywhere but it's fun to get dressed up right so if you are interested in how i got this makeup look then just keep watching okay so i'm gonna start off with my eyes so i didn't really want to do too much like going on because obviously we're gonna do a red lip so i've just kind of gone with like browns in my crease and then a little bit of shimmer so i'm gonna take my morphe 35k palette and i'm just gonna go into this one to start off with and i'm just gonna run that through my crease and then i'm gonna take it right into that inner corner because we're gonna do a cut crease so i'm gonna take it right up to the brow and in that inner corner I haven't used this palette in ages. Like I used to be absolutely obsessed with it and it'd be like the palette I'd use every time I'd do my makeup, but I just kind of put it in a drawer and kind of forgot about it. So just building up that color and bringing it right into the inner corner. I love Morphe eyeshadows because they just blend out so easily. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this more darker brown and I'm gonna just put that in the crease as well, but a little bit lower down. And then going back in with that lighter shade, I'm just gonna blend that on the outer corners again. So taking a flat brush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the black in the palette and I'm just gonna pack that on my outer corner. And then taking a little bit of concealer, I'm just gonna cut my crease so I'm just using the collection last imperfection in extra fair and I'm just going to take that on a tiny brush I struggle with cut creases with big brushes because my eyelids it's going to sound really weird but I've got like a lot of skin on my eyelids so I just take a little brush to kind of do the initial outline and then just taking a flat brush and blending that concealer and then taking the colors that we used in the crease I'm just going to blend them into the concealer using my finger a little bit just to blend out the harsh line and then just taking this shimmery shade i'm going to take that on my brush and then i'm going to spray it with a little bit of the primark fixing mist and then i'm just going to pop that where we've done the cut crease my plan wasn't to actually do like eyeshadow today i was going to do a winged eyeliner but i just haven't got the the brain to kind of get a good winged liner today and then just blending that into the browns okay so that's essentially the eyeshadow done i didn't want to do anything too complicated or too much just because like i said we are doing a red lip so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna do mascara and lashes and then i will come back and we will do skin Okay, so that is the finished eyes. I think I forgot to mention, I just used Molly Cosmetics Lashes in MCF5. I wanted to use my Doll Beauty ones, but they haven't arrived yet, which I'm kind of annoyed about, but we move. So on to skin, I'm going to take my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Stromboli. I'm just going to take that on a foundation. I really wished that this came with a pump. I know that you can buy them, but it's just so annoying. Like, I always like try and pour it out onto my hand and then i always pour out way too much so i'm just kind of like stippling that onto my face I haven't used this foundation in ages has anyone got any plans for like valentine's day i know that we can't go anywhere but has anyone got any like plans with their boys or their girls if so, let me know what you guys are doing. I'm like the most single person. So I don't actually have any plans. But I'd love to know like what other people are actually doing to kind of make it special. I'm not a massive fan of Valentine's Day because my birthday literally falls the next day. And like when I was growing up, like as a child, I never could understand why people were getting presents and cards the day before my birthday. Like it just never really sat right with me. Um, I remember one year, I must have been about maybe five, six. Um, we went to my nan's and um, everyone had like, obviously my granddad had got like my nan cards and my dad had got my mum cards. And I was just like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, and I got really upset. My mum seen me crying. Um, and then she went out for a bit. She went to the shop and I was with my granddad. 
And then there was like a knock at the door and then a card posted through and it was to me, signed, question mark. Obviously now I know that it was my mum, but at the time I was like, someone loves me, great news. So yeah, Valentine's Day has never really been something that I've really been interested in. I think I've had a Valentine's maybe once, um, but we try and forget that. I'm thinking about doing a like Valentine's vlog, like single Sinead Valentine's vlog and just kind of vlog my day of being single and sad. What do you think? Do we want to see my depressing Valentine's day? To be fair, most of my Valentine's day will be prepping for my birthday because I think we're going to do something in the house like as a, as a family, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be like prepping my balloons and stuff. I get like really excited about my birthday. Like I'm literally a child. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm just going to take my Collection Last and Perfection Concealer in the shade Extra Fair 4. And I'm just going to take my Luxa Blender, which I haven't wet, so be right back. Did it! Hands are wet now. Ooh. Okay, so taking my concealer, I'm just going to highlight my face and conceal these bags, even though I've done nothing but sleep. Has anyone else been like that? Has anyone else just like not been able to find the motivation to do absolutely anything? Like, I barely get out of bed anymore. Like I've gone from working three like full time jobs, which is not even possible. Like I didn't even sleep to not really working at all. So I don't really get out of bed anymore. So I'm just gonna blend that in with my Luxa Blender. I'm really nervous to do a red lip. Like I haven't wore red lipstick since I was maybe like 18. I'm 24 next month. Like I feel like it's not gonna look very nice on me, but we do it for the YouTube. Okay, so moving on to cream bronzer, I'm gonna take my Primark foundation stick in the shade Chai, as always, just to kind of cream bronze my face. So I'm gonna take that on my cheeks, on my forehead, and on my nose, and a little bit under my chin. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with a foundation brush. I forget how much I enjoy the Nars Sheer Glow foundation. Like, I'm just looking at my skin in the mirror now and I don't know why I don't use it every day. Although it is quite expensive. But then what do I use every day? Oh, I've been using the Wet n Wild one every day at the minute and I absolutely don't think I can live without it now. Because it is honestly a dream of a foundation. It's like five pounds and it's just amazing. I mix the, like, the matte and then the dewy one together, which is a bit weird, but it works. Again, she's moving her big old ear out the way. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge and go over that just to make sure that everything's blended together. Okay, so to set everything in place, I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW20. And I'm just gonna set all of my face using that. I prefer to pat the product on just so that I'm not moving anything around underneath. So just pat it on. Um, taking some of that under my eyes. Okay, now to bronze, I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild bronzer in What Shady Beaches, and I'm just gonna put that where we put the cream bronzer. And then for blush, I'm gonna take the Revolution Reloaded blush in Rhubarb and Custard, and it's just like, I'd say like a peachy pink, but it's more pink than it is peach. So I'm just gonna take that and dust that onto my cheeks. I'm not gonna put too much blusher on today. I normally go a bit overboard with it, but I think it will clash too much with a red lip. So I'm just gonna put that and then a little bit on my nose. And then moving on to highlighter, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals. Okay, now I need to drop the brush. And this is like a champagne-y peachy gold. So I'm just gonna put that on my cupid's bow my nose, the high points of my cheeks. I'm only gonna put again a little bit of amount on this just because I want the main focus to kind of be the lip. Okay, so we're gonna move back onto eyes and we're gonna go back in with the lightest brown shade that we used earlier and run that underneath our lash line. I always have to put something on my lower lash line just because I don't have very long lashes. So I look really weird without it. Like I'd love to have like really long lashes so that I could have just like left it as that and then mascara on bottom lashes, but it just doesn't work out. I look like Nick and Morath. 
And then taking a tiny brush, I'm gonna go into the black and then put that in my waterline. And then I'm just gonna take out this flat, dense brush and I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna take mascara and put some on my bottom lashes. Use any mascara, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using the Max Factor Masterpiece Max. This is actually, the color on this is black brown. What, what are you? You're either black or you're brown, like, sort it out. Okay, so moving on to lips. Now, this is probably where I'm gonna shit myself because one, I've made a boo-boo. I have one red lip liner and it's blunt and I don't have a sharpener. Who doesn't have, what? person that claims that they're good at makeup doesn't have a pencil sharpener so i'm just gonna take my gosh lip liner in cardinal red and i'm gonna line my lips i'm gonna attempt to line my lips with this i will say it comes out more pinky like a pinky purple than it does red i feel like i'm praying right now that this isn't fuck up because i'm really happy with like everything else on my face the reason why i don't tend to wear like anything over the nude is because i have quite wonky lips so I've just tried to like overline them a little bit, but this side tends to go, which side is it? This side's more rounded than this side. So I have to overline this one a little bit more. And it's just, when it starts to rub off, it just looks ridiculous. So I have to kind of even them out quite a lot, which is kind of annoying. And then I'm just gonna fill that in a little bit. Then for liquid lipstick, I'm gonna take my Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Vixen. And this is like, red red so this is not going to match your lip liner very well but it's the only red one that i kind of had oh my god it looks so weird <gasps> okay so last thing we've got left to do is to set our face so i'm gonna go in with the primark prime and infuse setting spray in pineapple and this literally smells just like pineapple and i'm just gonna set my face Okay, so that is the finished look. I can't even look at myself right now. I look so weird. <gasps> oh my God, I haven't worn red lip in so long. I think it's a vibe. I feel sexy. Oh, I would go out on a date like this. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.